Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just. Good morning. We woke up a little bit late. It's already 9 a.m. We're supposed to wake up a little bit earlier, but it's okay. It's okay because last night was later than we expected and uh, yeah we need the energy for our trip for today we're going to visit the city of Kuala Lumpur so now we're heading to the Patronas Tower because it's our one of the must scenes in Kuala Lumpur so uh, it's actually from walking distance from our hotel And it is as big as they say, with a length of 452 meter tall, makes this building one of the tallest buildings in the world. And if you want, you could go all the way up there in the tower, but unfortunately we were not able to do so because there was no ticket anymore available. So my advice is to get your tickets in advance. In fact, this twin tower was holding the title of tallest building for six years. Between 1998 until 2004, it got surpassed by Taipei 101 that's located in Taiwan. But it still holds its title of being the biggest twin tower in the world. And don't forget <laughs> to go to the garden at the back of the Petronas Tower. You know why, guys? You know, there's a fountain. There's a park. So, how do you like Kuala Lumpur so it's far? It's crazy. It's yeah, amazing. Right? It's like nature, city, all in one. So, you don't have to worry that you will get robbed or you'll lose anything because... The security is quite well. As I mentioned in our last video, that the majority of the Malay people are Muslim and there are a lot of mosques, beautiful mosques in this country and we are just visiting one of them, Ashi Siakirin. To finish the day, we went after our dinner back to the KLCC park to enjoy the light and symphony show that is holding at 8, 9 and 10 p.m. behind the Petronas Tower. Living life every day 